the Everyman Radio Podcast. It's a brand new sound for radio. New music. New music. Through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Hello, Pierce. Sorry, Fierce. <laughs> Fantastic start. <laughs> Why on earth did I get that wrong? Crazy. Um, yeah, so hello, Fierce, and 
Adrienne, I should call you. Um, welcome to Everyman Radio. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. And um, yeah, so yeah, so I get your name right. Um, I do love the name Fierce, and I believe there's some history to it. Um, but what do you prefer to be called by, uh, Adrian? I, I go by Fierce. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That sounds good. Um, and. I'm, yeah, just looking at the, the notes I have, uh, I'll just start off first. Um, yeah, I'm very glad we're, we're actually chatting because I know it's, it's taken us uh, quite a few weeks, even months, I think, to actually get in contact for various reasons. It doesn't really matter. Um, so it's wonderful to make a connection. Yes, and, it is. And I believe, are you in Chicago? Is that I right? am, yes. Okay. And how is life for you in Chicago at the moment? Very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah? Yes. Well, I mean, besides what's going on everywhere, <laughs> business is good. Oh, right. That's fantastic. Ah, uh, yes. I remember in yeah, some of our interaction, you, know, you, were, you were saying, I was asking how the lockdown was for you, and um, you were saying, yeah, business was booming, blossoming, or doing very well, so... It is. It's very well. It's doing very good. Yeah, so please tell us, um, uh, before we get into that, I guess, um, please tell us, what is it you're, you're primarily focused on and um, what would you call yourself? And Well, I work with other individuals, other small business owners, uh, entrepreneurs, artists, authors, and I help them to catapult their business to a larger scale. And so right now, um, I'm putting together a package to offer other small business owners and teach them how to pivot because so many small businesses, of course, as you know, is struggling and trying to survive and trying to uh, get things together and try to revive their business. So what I'm doing is offering a package for other small business owners to teach them how to pivot in this trying, challenging time and to offer a service that's needed. And it's in demand, even though we're all uh, experiencing a challenge right now because of the pandemic. And so just from taking calls every day, I says, wow, there is a service here that small businesses need because they're asking what to do, what do I do, what do mm -hmm. I do? And so there's a demand, of, of course, to help those individuals you know, to kind of bring in some resources right away into their business. Um, yeah. That's out. Well, that's incredibly important. Uh, resources uh, for myself. Um, this business, Every Man Radio. I don't. It's strange. I don't almost class it as a business in a way, because for me, it's more kind of recreation because I kind of enjoy it. And okay. my main kind of strand, I guess, is web hosting, um, where I. Um, yeah, actively market um, web hosting um, and yeah, develop the brand. But I need, yeah, I've, it's taking me time, a lot of time, uh, because really I need the resources to actually do uh, the marketing that I want to do. Um, so, what sort of advice do you offer to people that uh, you're dealing with on in terms of yeah, finding capital? I guess is that. If I got that right? Uh, yes. And so as far as uh, business coaching, uh, that's pretty much what it is, a strategy of uh, business coaching for in different individuals. So it depends on what your business is or their business is, trying to help them to pull together a service that they can offer that's different than what they currently have. For instance, if someone has a business that's a flower shop, and their main uh, customers is coming into the door. And so they can't survive right now because they're not open, uh, depending on what state they're in. And so what I would do is come in and help them uh, work with them one-on-one, -on -one, one -on -one, either by uh, video or by phone call or by emails, help them to uh, package their business in a way that they can sell a service either over the telephone or either by video 
or either by email. And so they can offer a service and plop it on their, on their website and have a standalone, a a la carte, uh, if you will, you can call it an a la carte uh, menu. And so they can offer something that they can do to pull in that money. Maybe they can deliver uh, whatever their package is, whatever their, their business, maybe they can deliver it, um, not brick and mortar, but maybe they can break it, uh, deliver it some type of way online, in the un- online digital world. The small businesses that's suffering is the ones that's the brick and mortar, and they don't have a strong online presence. So what they need to learn how to do is market themselves digitally online, because of course, online, there's what? billions of people every day so there's a slew and there's a ton of money for individuals to get online and so they're suffering and they're drowning because they're used to seeing the customers face to face and they don't know how to survive because of what's going on right now they have to learn how to survive online they have to package something online to get this those dollars they can make money in their sleep and that's the best money to make when you're sleeping (laughs) and so you know they have to And someone have to coach them. They have to be coached and helped uh, to put together that strategy so they can get those dollars. Wow. Yeah, you sound um, you sound very good. You sound quite rare, actually, and um, uh, very creative as well as very active and very competent. Um, And if I just go back to the the introduction to yourself. I'm trying to see how it fits in because um, okay. um, there's a discussion about business, but um, one of the questions I was going to start with is what mm-hmm. is a spirit strategist? But uh, I don't see how that fits in, really. Well, you know what? That fits in because that was my start, <laughs> being a spirit strategist, because I am a licensed and ordained minister. And so uh, my start came from growing up in the church, of course, and uh, teaching the word of God. And of course, I still do those things. And a lot of individuals that do come to me are uh, individuals who come from that same background. And so I help them to strategize uh, their business, uh, their principles, whatever their core values is, whatever their principles are, how to mark themselves, how to position themselves, uh, what keeping their beliefs intact, keeping their faith intact. And so with those individuals, I start with their core values, which is the word of God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. And um, and then, yeah, moving on, next question. Um, I have the, the term relationship expert um so again so how does that fit in and um uh, how do you describe that is that something that you just class yourself as yes a relationship experts is um teaching individuals that particular service and that's a a service uh, that i provide coaching it's all in the realm of, of coaching uh life coaching and that's helping individuals to break their patterns and learn how to pick what's good for them in a mate. And so it's helping individuals where it's females or men, helping them to break that pattern so they don't keep repeating uh, those same mistakes. For instance, an individual may be used to picking out an individual, maybe they like the bad guy. And of course, (laughs) you know, they have to learn how to break that cycle. If you want to do something different, for God's sakes, you have to learn how to break that cycle. And you have to start with you. What happened in your past that's causing you to keep picking that same type of person? And so you have to go through the work. See, I went through a transformation. I'm going to be honest with you. I went through a transformation. <laughs> and I got it firsthand because um, I went through that transformation because I did that. Picking the, the wrong kind, same kind of person over and over again. And I'm telling you the scales fell from my eyes to help me to understand that I'm worthy of better than what I was picking. You know, you have to understand your worth. You have to know and believe that you are worth having a great person, having an awesome person, the person that's the cheerleader in your life. That can be your mate. Why not? Heck yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. We all deserve that. You deserve to have a cheerleader in your life. That's your mate. Your mate can be your best friend, your cheerleader. They can be all that and the strawberries and the chocolate all together. (laughs) (laughs) And that's why I'm fierce, baby. (laughs) 
I like it. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, I have a confession to make. Okay. So I have recently embarked on this dating game. And um, so, um, yeah, sort of chatting uh, with various potential females and um, mm -hmm. um, generally just getting frustrated that, um, well, first off, because um, um, our prime minister was told by whoever he reports to, I look like like lots of the world leaders, um, all at the same time to close everything down. Um, and um, that just made all of my chances of actually meeting someone go to dust completely. So it just made me incredibly angry. Um, and I do mean incredibly angry to the point where I want to actually go to Downing Street and uh, knock on number 10 Downing Street, but quite violently. Uh, because I see it all as a complete hoax, to be honest. Uh, I know a few people do, some do. More of the outspoken and the ones that are banned by YouTube for speaking the truth of what is going on. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, as you can see, I'm actually just ranting. <laughs> it, I suppose it just winds me up and I forget I'm actually talking about dating. Um, but uh, do, do you have any advice then? for a, a sexually frustrated individual in these, <laughs> <laughs> in these lockdown times. What can I do? Wow. What wow. can we do? Wow. <laughs> you know, I hate to put this out there, but everyone needs a go-to person. So whoever your go-to person was before this whole pandemic started, I don't know if you have a go-to person. That person that's your friend, that you spend time with someone that you trust. I don't know if you have an individual like that. Uh, yeah, I've got a, yeah, I'm quite lucky I, in the block I live in, there's a couple of guys that I speak to now and again. Okay. To uh, vent my frustrations. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, you know, the way it started with me, with the relationship expert, the way it got started, because I was using those online sites, the dating sites, Okay. And I got, I was so humiliated and so, you know, just frustrated because it never worked. It didn't work. I would okay. meet, I would meet people, some re really nice quality people, but they always became like my best friend and something just kept gnawing, on, gnawing at me. And I said, something's just not right. <laughs> and so I started doing some internal work and I really started doing some internal work spiritually on myself. I said, what is okay. going on? What is wrong? And I had this question was just always kept coming up. And so I just started to um, do an internal work, taking walks every day and just really taking a look at my past patterns to see what was going on. And um, that's the way it got started. It started with me. Okay. It started. Yeah. And I think that's a very important point. And I think I you know it's interesting and some of the guests have had it and, um, in a similar arena, um, have led me to say the same comment. Mm -hmm. um, a very good starting point is, um, as we are led to believe in the Gospels, um, know thyself. Mm -hmm. um, and I think very, very few people do do actually spend the time and the incredible amount of time it does actually yes. require to yes. actually know yourself because people really don't. They think they do. You know, you're right. And I did. I went through that process and it took me, you know, several years. It didn't just happen overnight. And so you have that caliper, you go through the uh, caliper process and then that transformation turning into the butterfly that takes a lot of time a lot of digging a lot of soul searching looking in, inside that takes a lot of time and you have to be dedicated 
and I did a lot of journaling um, to come up with the answers to break that cycle and to really see what was going on, what was wrong. And okay. so I began, yeah, I began to realize that great people, you meet great people and you overlook great people. That's what I discovered from going through that process, that you overlook great people because you don't really see them because you're always picking the wrong type of person. And when the scales fall from your eyes, you begin to pick the right person. And they were always there. It's always, it's usually someone that you already know, someone that's already a great friend that could be a potential mate for you. And you just kind of overlooked them because you never really saw them in that light. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's a very interesting thing. <laughs> well, it just causes so much pain and tragedy. Uh, the whole matchmaking, lovemaking shtick, because it, it goes wrong so so often. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, and yeah, we all have experiences of that. that we, we're, I'll, I'll keep to myself now. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's hard work. <laughs> Yes, it is. But one day. <laughs> one day. And, um, yeah, so, so moving on then to the next question. Um, would, you, would you say you are gifted in some way? Do you have a, a spiritual gift or a healing gift? Or Ooh, That's a different way to put it, a healing gift. I never heard it that way before, but, yes, I do. I do have uh, spiritual gifts and I do use those gifts when I uh, work with individuals and when I'm coaching individuals and when I'm helping individuals to strata, uh, strategize whatever they are working on, whether it's business, personal life, or whether they're wanting to work on relationships between themselves and a mate or themselves and family members. Yes. Wow. How, how do you know? Uh, how do you know you have this gift and why do you call it a gift so i have it yeah well i call it a gift because it's something separate and apart of myself it's not um it's not something um how can i put it i call it a gift because it's spiritual you know it's it's spiritual and it's not um i don't want to use those words as far as clairvoyant because I'm, that's not what I do. Uh, there are gifts of wisdom, gifts of uh, faith, of gift of healing, helping people to receive inner healing. And it's on a, a whole different platform. It's ho on a whole different level because it is spiritual and it comes from God. It's not of myself. It comes from God. And he gave me those gifts to help other people, to help other people, to bless other people. And those gifts, I use them to help other uh, individuals. And so that's why I call it a gift. It's okay. No, it sounds good. And um, my just immediate thought was, um, it sounds to me like you are just a very good listener. I don't know. Would you say that's right? That is true. That is very true. You know, an active listening is so important. You know, you'd be surprised what you hear and what you find out. You know, I could teach you really quickly if you were my student for instance if you were i'll just use you for an example if you <laughs> okay well that's fine i'm here i'm not going anywhere <laughs> well for instance uh active listening and, and critical thinking works together for me anyway for instance if you were in a conversation with someone and they're telling you all these different things and the way you practice active li listening you're listening to what they're saying but you're also paying attention to their body language you're looking for those cues. There's always going to be a cue to tell you what the truth really is. And that's active listening. And it helps you to point out the key things. Not that you're going to say anything out loud to them, but mm -hmm. they're just uh, mental notes for you to take to use maybe in the next conversation. Because you don't want to uh, tell a person right off the first time the things that you're noticing and things that you're seeing on the inside of the spirit. You can't go there right away with some individuals. It may occur a couple of months down the road, but that's the way that it works. And, and that's the way it works in coaching. 
You can't spill the whole beans all at one time because they'll run away from you. And if you want to be successful and get somewhere, you have to be careful. You have to give them a little piece of candy at a time. You got to drop the jelly beans <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> you know, depending on who your, who your person is, depending on who you're working with, depending on your client. Uh, that's why I had to create a, another service um, as far as helping small business owners because it came from working with a Fortune 500 company. And I can't work directly with those individuals. I'm like, oh, because you're bound by certain things. You're bound by uh, a contract. You have to keep things personal. You can't say it uh, directly. And so that cre makes me have to create another way, way to help individuals. So if I'm talking to a thousand people a week and I'm hearing 99 times, 99, 999 times that I need help, that's, you know, that's the universe knocking on my door and, and knocking it down, telling me there's a demand. Of course, there's a man. There's people that needs help. You know? Yeah. And I think, um, yeah, you've picked up, highlighted a, a key problem I find a lot is um, just a general inability for a lot of people not to be able to speak directly. They find it generally very hard to actually say exactly what they, they want, exactly how they feel. And why? I just find, I, I th certainly in this little rainy island, England, that has a lot of lot to answer for. <laughs> okay, I'm happy here when, it's, when the sun's shining and it has come up recently. But it has a, a very, uh, well, it has a history okay. <laughs> of uh, world conquest, domination, and um, getting its own way, basically. Um, and um, I have um, <laughs> no. It's interesting. I've just slipped into. I've lost the track completely of what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking of Royal Britannia music coming up. Um, but um, I find just people uh, just in everyday speech and also in the media as well. Um, most simplest of questions uh, are normally answered in a whole lot of fluffy nonsense, but um, don't actually answer the direct question. Uh, a, a classic example would be politicians. Um, uh, and certainly in these times, but I think it's always been the case. They, uh, they just build their respect and um, their position in society from their um, lies, essentially, and they spend their time just covering up lies. Um, so they try to embellish the truth as much as they can, pontificating and using long words like pontificating, which is exactly what our current leader, Boris, uh, is actually very good at. Uh, pontificating and using long words that are quite humorous but also confuse people but sort of fit into his image um, and I'm just going to rant actually <laughs> just about yeah this particular prime minister in this country because he's a uh, well you have a divide in America you have the um, uh, well, because I'm, I'm not there, I don't, not too sure. You have conservative liberals. Um, lib that's it, basically, is it? You have the, you have the classic um, Donald Trumpy crowd, the reporters, and then you also have then the liberal of from if the Clinton chain, um, who have then they kind of I think from what I see they they've kind of merged. Well, they've become totally obsessed with um, all of this LGBT stuff and that kind of uh, really not useful um, classifications of things. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, again, I don't really know what I'm talking about apart from just <laughs> venting my fury, really. <laughs> 
Well, I think that uh, being able to speak directly, because as a coach or a spirit strategist, if you're not able to speak directly uh, to a person and really, and sometimes people think it's uh, coming across maybe harsh, but you're not really being harsh. You're telling the truth and you're coming across to that person what they need to hear. Because if you have a, a ground, if you have a really hard uh, dirt or soil and it's hard to break it up, the only thing that's going to break up hard soil is what? A sledgehammer. And so I'm like a sledgehammer. I'm the fierce sledgehammer <laughs> and I'm beating and I'm beating at your heart and I'm beating on your mind because I'm going to be straight. I'm going to be direct, not too hard, but I need to, <laughs> I need to crack up the heart and I need to, you know, get the water, you know, and I got to soften up all that hard ground and get all in the nooks and the crannies and tell you the truth about yourself, you know, so you can go forward. It's to help you to go in a new direction. That's going to help your life to blossom. That's what it's all about. Being authentic and blossoming. That's what fear is all about, honey. Being <laughs> authentic. You know what I'm talking about? You know, just being real. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, some people cannot handle another person being real, being authentic. You know, and when that happens, you know, you just have to, you know, give them a the hand. I love you, but I kind of keep moving. <laughs> you know, you mm -hmm. can't let anything get in the way of your authenticity. Being authentic. You know, because when you're being authentic, you know what that does? When you're being real and truthful with yourself and authentic, that's your magnet. That's your magnet to growth, prosperity, all that is good, all that is great, all that is vibrant. That is your magnet, honey. That is what draws it in. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's powerful. Wow. Um. I suppose because I'm coming from a, also a kind of spiritual interest as well, slightly, okay. slightly different, not, um, okay. I'm Christian upbringing and I mean, but very interested in more, um, I don't know why, what, what it's called alternative spirituality, but it wouldn't, it would sort of based on the teachings of, um, 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 his name is Gurdjieff, uh, a Russian. Actually, I don't even know about, I think he was Russian. Um, I don't know, he's moved, moved to France anyway, but uh, very, very prophetic. And um, um, very much focused on the truth. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it's something I've been following for yeah a long time, uh, 10 years. It's, uh, and a lot of reading, a lot of, uh, and also yeah, meeting like-minded others and discussing and developing and growing. Okay. Um, um, and I suppose, yeah, asking, I suppose it's quite deep and probably not necessary for now, um, but just as an example, um, uh, your spirituality, Christian, um, okay, we would ask, okay, Jesus Christ, did he exist? What evidence is there for him? Uh, where did, and really try to find out yeah, the answers of, of the truth, but probably going into uh, levels of technicality that, of biology that really are not really necessary, uh, certainly, uh, uh, certainly in, in discussions such as we're having. Um, in basically enabling your business to survive or <laughs> finding the right woman. <laughs> um, and also I think it's very, it's, it is quite rare. I think generally most people will um, get their information from the television, get their food from the supermarket, think it will last forever and not really make it, um, not really do any questioning about what they have. Um, I don't know. I just find it all very fascinating at times. Okay. And um, so please tell us, what is it you're, you're mainly focused on right now at the moment? Um, and what is it that you're promoting or if people want to get in touch with you, uh, how can they do that? Yes. Individuals who have a small business, as we were talking uh, 
a little bit ago, small business owners who have a brick and mortar business and they need to find a product or a service that they can digital, uh, digitally uh, market online. Uh, I can help them uh, in that regard to help them to put together a package uh, without taking an enormous amount of time. We want to do this in a short period of time and get it out there because, you know, I, I don't want to get too deeply into the coronavirus, uh, the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And I do want to say this. There, we don't know everything that there is to know about COVID-19. And of course, if you pay attention to advertising and marketing, everything that's being advertised and marketed by big businesses, of course, is pointing towards COVID-19. We need to pay attention. We really need to pay attention to what's on the television and what's being advertised, what's being put in front of, I don't know why I'm going down this road, what's being put in front of our face and what we're hearing. Because there's a message in the dollars, of course. And I don't mean to um, get on another soapbox, but if a business is going to survive right now, they've got to find something to offer online. Mm -hmm. Everyone is crying you know, I'm so heartbroken when I get all those calls every day from individuals saying they don't know what to do uh, and they need something. Uh, they ask me, what should I do? Help me make a decision. And I can't say it on the telephone because I'm bound by a certain contract and I have to get, you know, speak with them at a different time on my own time. Mm -hmm. But the point is here, they have to learn how to swim. I don't want them to drown. So if you want to learn how to swim right now, during this COVID-19 pandemic, you need to get in touch with me by thefiercefemales at gmail.com and learn how to swim. I'm going to teach you how to swim, baby. We ain't got to drown. We don't have to drown. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. You're a, you've got a life draft. I don't know. I love that. You're right. <laughs> You're right. You know what, Rich? Let me tell you something. I have drowned so many times years before COVID-19 ever got here. That's why Fierce is on the scene right now. Because I've had, <laughs> I've had so many problems, so many struggles, so many challenges. And I'm telling you, so much has happened in my past, but it, uh, it is only throwing me into the future to help other people. So I'm not crying about what happened in the past. I'm building buildings for other people so they can make it, so they can, so they can swim. We all want to swim, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, Rich, you're fantastic. You're fantastic. No, no, you are fierce. You're fierce. <laughs> no, this is lovely. It really is. Um, Thank you. And, um, yeah, just a very minor thing. Fierce female males. Is there more of you? Oh, the uh, email is thefiercefemales at gmail.com. See, there's a whole group on Facebook. And if you do want to join the group, I have a group on Facebook. It's You Are Fierce on Facebook. So come over to my page on Facebook. You can't miss me. I'm all over <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> no one can miss me on Facebook. So if you come on Facebook, The Fierce Female, on Facebook, I have my business page, The Fierce Female Network. You'll find me, baby. <laughs> Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to check it out and I hope, um, yeah, lots of, lots of you do. So Please do. It sounds, Please do. Uh, yeah, it sounds fantastic. And um, yeah, it's uh, been lovely, lovely, lovely talking with you. Uh, I wish you all, you all the best in the, your future. And uh, yeah, I'd be very interested to see um, um, how you, how you develop, how your businesses develop and um yeah, I'll keep, uh, keep an eye out. Thank you. I really appreciate you. You're fantastic. You're fabulous. <laughs> You're fabulous. <laughs> no, you are fierce. <laughs> Thank you. That's the thing I say a lot, actually. Uh, well, not people don't often say I'm fantabulous, but um, just people thanking, just in the shop, they'll thank, thanks. They'll say, oh, yeah, no, I'll say, oh, no, thanks. And they'll say thanks. Mm -hmm. Or if they do the shop, I always end up saying no, thank you. <laughs> just, I don't know why I just get carried away, just start being very silly. But um, um, yeah, and again, I'm just I've <laughs> just wandered off into the ether. I don't know what I'm talking about at all now. But um, um, let's have some music. <laughs> and uh, 
Yeah, lovely talking with you. Take care. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And yourself. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, Chris. New music. <laughs>